An Air View of Montrose, Angus, was painted by Keith Henderson in 1940. Henderson, who was born in London in 1883 and died in 1982, was a successful artist and illustrator who was attached as an official war artist to the Air Ministry at the beginning of the Second World War, painting scenes in and around various Scottish RAF bases. The painting shows Montrose, a small town in northeastern Scotland on the North Sea coast between Aberdeen and Dundee, which was home to the UK's longest established military airfield, RAF Montrose, originally set up by the Royal Flying Corps in 1913. Above the town is a Royal Air Force aircraft flying in from the North Sea with gear down, presumably preparing to land at RAF Montrose. The base itself is just out of the picture to the right. The focus of this painting is the town, not the airfield. The aircraft dominates the top of the picture and is dramatically cropped, but enough detail is shown to identify it as a Lockheed Hudson, an American-built twin-engine light bomber and reconnaissance aircraft extensively used by the RAF during the Second World War. The viewer of the painting joins the crew of the aircraft in looking west, across the town itself, the South Esk estuary with its viaducts, the tidal lagoon of Montrose Basin. Below us, the rough surface of the choppy North Sea contrasts with the smoother inland waters of the estuary and basin. From the turbulent outside world, we are returning to the calm sanctuary of home. The town itself, bathed in soft light, is shown with a clarity and precision that is almost uncanny, like an image from a dream. So detailed is this depiction that Henderson must have worked from an aerial photograph. Railway lines and roads, bridges and lighthouses, the harbour, the lofty steeple of the parish church, and the fields and woods of the surrounding landscape are all precisely and accurately depicted. The town, hell between sea and land in its patterned setting of water and hills is beautiful but vulnerable. In the age of air warfare, the aerial view is not neutral but evokes hostile skies, enemy bomber fleets, the terrible vulnerability of houses, churches and peaceful streets to destruction from above. Montrose was bombed several times in the course of the war. From 1940, nothing lay between this coast and the enemy but the flat expanse of the North Sea. Yet the message of this wartime painting is ultimately a positive one. It shows us an image of vulnerability, but also one of defence, watchfulness and protection. Its message is that something does stand between Montrose and the enemy, the air crews and aircraft of the Royal Air Force. The Hudson extends its gleaming wing with RAF Roundel prominently displayed, protectively, across the town that nestles below. <laughs>